we're going in for the crash landing. Ah! No. Uh, that was sorry. That was a little. That was a little anticlimactic because there's not going to be any big explosion or anything. So, if you guys are wondering, yes, I said it. Crash landing. We are playing forever. Crash landing. It's a 1.10 pack by uh, GW Sheridan, I believe. Um, he's uh, one of the crossover guys that we uh, that we work with. When we did. I think he was even in the UHC that we did just recently. Um, but this is his take. It's still a work in pro progress as far as I know. I don't even think, I'm not entirely sure it's public yet, but it could be, who knows. Um, but this is Forever Crash Landing. Uh, Crash Landing was an awesome, awesome, awesome set. Um, I apologize if you guys can hear that in the background. I'm hoping you can't, but you never know. Anyway, so we got this Forever Crash Landing. So let's go over here. Yep, okay. So we got all of our stuff. We got some extra books. Materials and new books, some food, dirt, foam meal, water, food. We're going to leave all this stuff in there. Alright, so I think the first thing we're going to do is take a step out here. And it's going to be hot out here, I can already tell. We're going to put you right there. Boom. Oh, wow. And, of course, we had to get a big tree. Alright, so we got this wood. So we're going to do this real quick. Because we need to... There, mobs are an issue in this game. Or in this pack, from what I understand. So this should be interesting. So we'll go here... We need some sticks. Bing. Get us a couple shovels. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go... Let's see, let's go from right here. And we're going to... We need to get a, 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 a trench surrounding our base here. For mobs. It won't protect us against spiders, but it, but it'll protect us against all the zombies and all that other stuff. So, I'm thinking this is going to end up being a really cool series because I loved for uh, Crash Landing the original. So this one should be interesting. I'd like to try to go around the back there. I want to use the tail of this thing because it left a little hole. So we're ho I'm hoping it'll work. We'll see what happens. A little bit further. I know I'm sorry that you guys aren't getting to see what's going on around us and everything, but stuff is important, right? Get ourselves a nice little trench going here to be protected from the mobs, and then we'll, then we'll be a little set, a little more set, anyways. We need a couple more shovels here. go get this trench going because it is midday already yeah so this is 
the problem. And with the, the, because this is 1.10, that means we have to deal with husk, which anybody who's played any of the 1.10 or later knows that they are, or I think it's actually, wasn't it, one, I don't remember, I wonder if it was 1.10 or 1.9 when husk were added, I think it was 1.9. But either way, they're annoying because they're desert dwelling. Uh, I don't even think they burn in the sunlight, do they? Okay, almost there. A little bit further. Wonder if I could get all the way around the whole base. That would be kind of cool. I don't have any torches, but I could definitely. That would definitely keep me safer. Where am I at? Mm. Actually, we're not too far. You know what? This may actually work. We'll see what happens. Now I can see this symbol in the middle of us here is saying that we're extremely hot, which means we're probably dehydrating very quickly. Um, and that's because it's midday, which if I remember right is... I don't know exactly how close this is to um, normal crash landing, but I would imagine that, you know, we would do this right. hope is that we can get a, 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 a trench all the way around the base. That'll make our lives a lot easier. Oh crap, almost. There we go. My main concern is mob safety, and that's pretty much what we got going on right now, is trying to keep keep us safe from mobs, and we are almost there. It's getting close to nighttime now. Let's use you. Almost there. So, uh, I haven't really looked at all the mods that are in this pack. Literally, we just got it, like, maybe, I don't know, three or four days ago. I know a couple of the guys have already started series on it. Uh, I know Stalker and Asgard have both started series on it. I think Sheridan himself has also started a series on it. Oh my god, we're actually going to make it. Awesome. Okay. Now I'd like to make sure nothing can get on top of the base. I think there's a lot of way to get some extra. Let's see. There it is. There we go. Now we can at least see into the cockpit. I just don't want to take a chance on anything being able to, like zombies or anything, climbing up on the top. I think nighttime cometh. That it does. That it does. Hopefully, this will make our lives a little easier. I hope I didn't make it too big here. But guess what I'm going to do now is attempt to get up and cut all this down. Okay, so nighttime is hit, guys. like our plan will work. I don't think they can get to us. I'm going 
build ourselves a little wall here just in case, because you never know. Husks sound creepy as all get out, don't they? Whoa. Oh, crap. Uh, so we have spiders. That sucks. Let's, uh... So let's throw down our crafting table here for a second. We want ourselves a sword, just in case. creepy guys, I gotta be honest with you. Um, let's see what's going on. Is that spider still over here? I do not see the spider on there. So it looks like we did a good job getting a trench all the way around the base. Thank God these guys aren't smart enough to like, I don't know jump or something. Alright, so we are mildly protected now. I'm sorry for all the mob noise. cut down here and of course we had to get the biggest freaking type of oak tree you could get on our first try so I'm not entirely sure where this is going <laughs> um, it's been a while since I played a, a HQ impact but I mean let's be honest we all love these packs where's all the wood at good advantage that we got is we got a trench all the way around the, the base. That'll help us out because I've already seen some pretty messed up stuff from some of the guys' other series. So I've noticed that we only have four hearts, so obviously through some of the quests we'll, um, we'll gain those hearts back. Now I know I probably should have checked the book first and blah blah blah, but you know what? I thought let's be safe and let's go ahead and get the trench first because, well, I'm going to learn from my, my the guys' mistakes. The other guys on the team made, made me realize how... Um, dangerous it can be, so that's what we're going to deal with. Anyways, and we've already done it, so it is what it is, right? Getting all this stuff taken care of. We need to start getting the rest of this tree taken down. And this will give us a lot of wood. That is the one good thing about getting a giant tree right off, is it'll give us so much wood we won't have to worry about it for a while. 
at least a few minutes. Freaking zombies are loud. back in here real quick um all right there we go all right let's open up this book here okay so quest all right basic survival get some more dirt water and an empty canteen done all right what is this again is this the thing that goes on here No, I don't remember how to use this canteen, so we'll have to look into that. Uh, let's see, are there any other... Can't do that yet. Let's see. What's this an egg? Okay, so we're not there. Alright, let's see. Um... All right, well, let's see. What is the next? Um, how do I get backwards? There we go. All right, so let's look at the next one here. It wants us to have a wooden hammer. Okay, we can do that. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Dink and dink, I think. That is a wrench. Okay. How did I do? There it is. Okay, so we want this type of hammer. There we go. Now we got it. We got our wooden hammer. Alright. So, detect. wants us to make an oak sieve. But I think we need string for that. Oh no. Not bad. We can do that. Let's see. Um let's go there. And there. Make us up a bunch of more sticks. We go here and here. And then it's just that I believe. There we go. Okay, quest. Got it. All right. Now we need bone meal and dust. Really? Okay. No, this ain't gonna work, is it? We need. That's what I thought. No mesh. Okay. So how do you make the mesh? Wooden mesh. Oh, look at that. So they have a wooden mesh. Okay. So 
So we just go done. And I assume we probably just want to go dink. There we go. So they changed the sieve up a little bit, but that's okay. That makes sense. Yeah, works really well too. All right. First off, let's make us like a chest real quick to throw all this junk in. Oh, I got proof machine, proof machine shards off that. Right, so let's go ahead and throw all of you in there. Now what we want to do is grab a hammer. And now I think we should have quest done claim awesome cool all right so i believe yep so we now have two more dirt and some more of these let's see what else do we got here um we want a barrel okay we can do that uh let's see oak barrel I believe that is in yep, there we go. Okay, we got that part done. Uh four. okay, so now we want five dirt. Oh crap, how do we get five dirt? Uh we're gonna need some more barrels though. Okay, so we're going to leave one of these in here for now. I think I'm going to take the other two. I'm going to go right there. There we go. Okay, if I can remember how to do this, isn't it? Let's see. How do you make dirt again? I think it's saplings. Okay, something's going on. I don't know why I'm dying. No, don't die! I think we're dying, guys. From hypothermia. We need torches, probably. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so now we're way the hell out here. Well, this isn't fair. Okay. So we died, which sucks. But from what I've heard, it's actually pretty common to die. So we've died once, which sucks. All right. So we died once. That sucks, but that is what it is. All right. Um, I think what we're gonna do though is I think we need dirt okay so that's gonna take some time to there we go okay so that's composting into some dirt and that'll be good for now I think what we'll do is in between this episode and the next episode I'll get up I'll grow some more trees and I'll get us a um, a crook and you know different uh, we get some worms and stuff and hopefully by the time we come back on the next episode we'll be able to get a little further in the book and do some other things um, yeah Anyways, I think that's good, guys. I think we're doing good. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. And I guess I'll see you next time. This is Phoenix. Y'all have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm out.